Hey YouTubers, uh, welcome back. This is part three of our Sustainable Village in Banished. Um, we've named it Oswinville because I'm a Doctor Who nerd and Clara Oswald Oswin is, uh, or Clara Oswin Oswald, how does that go? Anyway, it's one of my favorite companions of all time. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is, we're gonna try to uh, destroy our village at this point. We're gonna try to expand, and I'm uh, I'm wondering if uh, expanding is gonna be bad. Uh, let's do a pause right here. We're not gonna save this, you guys. We're just gonna keep going. Um, we're gonna throw down a forester's lodge over here. Now I want this to overlap just a little bit with the previous one. Um, if you just joined us, part one and part two in this series. Part one, we built the forester's lodge, the hunting cabin, and the gatherer's hut with some homes. Uh, in uh, part two, we've expanded a little bit. The forest has completely filled in this area that was previously non-forested, and now I'm looking to expand. I have the herbalist hut. Um, I have some homes over here. We have the woodcutters. We have plenty of storage saved up. We have the blacksmith. We have the uh, the seamstress, whatever you want to call it, fishing. So we've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Now we want to expand our area. Um, and let's throw this down. Hmm, let's throw this here. And then let's do, let's set down a couple of buildings and then we'll actually build them little by little. Um, hunting cabin will go with it. That looks good. And gatherer's hut will go with it. That looks good. And then let's set down a couple of homes. 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 The homes will be sort of midway between here, here, and here. And then let's build a little roady road that takes you this way. throw down a couple of roads, we'll throw down a couple of buildings, um, we will pause these, so these are not running, pause, 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 and pause, then we will increase the priority of this one, and we will start, there you go! <clears throat> oh, and since we're way out here now, we're going to want to create another stockpile uh, that's sort of the mid-range between the areas because um, we don't want these people from here having to go all the way to here to stockpile. We want to try to make it more convenient for them. So we're going to create a sort of halfway point in the stockpile so that these folks can drop off supplies here and these folks can come get these supplies if needed. Um, and just sort of keep it moving forward. Now let me pause this real quick and show you something. What just happened is I had uh, four foresters and uh, it, it's not four foresters at this location. I had four foresters. When I built a second foresters lodge, it then split my workforce into two. So when I had four foresters and one work lo uh, foresters lodge, they were all there. When I built a second Forester's Lodge, it split that, so I have two and two, which is what I kind of want for now, because this one is already established, and now I want to get this one off the ground. So keep this one moving, but keep this one growing. And eventually, I'm gonna have four and four when I have enough villagers. But in the meantime, until then, we're gonna keep it at what it's at. Now that that's done, and we have people that need to do stuff, let's build the hunting cabin. Actually, let's build the gatherer's hut because uh, they give us more food, I think. Well, it's comparable. Food, oh, we gotta hit play. Unpause the game, ham! Now, as you watch, uh, what I'm gonna try to do in this video is show you how this forest builds throughout the entire uh, uh, time frame. 
zoom out just a little bit. This is completely filled in now, uh, and now we're going to have this filling. And this filling in will keep the game. The game gets uh, shied away from city areas. They don't want to be in the city areas. So I try to keep my, my places in forest as much as possible. My people are Ewoks. It's the forest moon of Endor. Reserve of food is low. Reserve of food is low. Again, I need food. As people keep being born, I need food or people are going to die. They will starve. Let's see. We have no iron and we have some stone. We're going to need to collect more iron. So let's collect some more iron. Let's collect all this iron now that we're out here in this area. Yeah, this is good stuff. Collect that iron for tools. And now that this stockpile is here, they will go from this to this stockpile and stockpile it there. Hopefully. They may just... Where's this guy going? Where are you going? You going home? No. Th this song, this little music that the, uh, the creator made for this game for this this particular song always reminds me of um, the movie Rising Sun with Sean Connery and Wesley Snipes. I, it's the weird haunting pipes or whatever it is that he's playing. See, this is nice. Now all the stone and iron is removed from this area and it makes more room for forest and herbs, uh, or, and food, which is good, and herbs for that matter, and for game. Uh, as the game continually replenishes itself in the forest. Look at that, they have a little basket of stuff they're collecting. Yeah, get that food. You get that food. You get that food, get that food. Look at that, the forest is starting to come in. Got a big old tree right here. This will be cut down next, most likely. Probably gonna want to gather some of this stone as well. Reserve of food is low. Yeah, well, they're, well, they're, they're, they're doing stuff, all right? Forget about it. Forget, forget about it. Forget about it. Let's, uh, let's build this now. Let's get that food, man. And we'll set the priority for this so that this will build right away. You know, one of these days I should do one of these games and name everybody after you guys, but like... That's <laughs> so OCD! <laughs> I ain't got time for all that! <clears throat> Gather the berries! Stored medicine. Uh, that's from here, I think, right? It's the herbs. See, our health has gone up, and that is because of the medicine and because of a variety of foods for them to eat. They like their foods. Reserve food is always low because uh, it drops beneath a thousand constantly here. Oh, now we have a ton of laborers. So let's bump up our food production, you guys. We'll go full bore on the gatherer's huts. Get five more laborers. We'll go full bore. Three, four. We'll go full bore on the hunting cabins. No, don't need seven. We need six. Three and three. Right. So now we have two laborers. And uh, now let's build some homes because these homes are going to fill up with new families and we will get then more laborers and uh, more builders and more everything. Look at that, food's popping up. Um, things are being built, this is good stuff, you guys. Forest is uh, starting to flesh itself out very slowly, but it's happening. I think you can, Hero, I think you can rename them, I'm just not sure. Um, no, deaths are fine. Death by old age, that's, that's fine. 
I have disasters turned off, I think. This is probably my favorite song in the game. Now, there's, uh, there's no uh, bad thing of having people assigned as builders when you don't need them for other things because um, builders that aren't being used become laborers. And laborers can go and collect stuff for you. So there's no harm, no foul in having builders when you don't need them to be farmers or anything else. Um, they can just be there. It's no big deal. Now that they've collected that iron, let's collect this stone. Uh, this will free up our foresting area, and we'll just have more stone on hand. That's always good. And let's just go here. It's a modest area. Get all the stone. What are we doing here? Inventory is almost full. Okay. Probably gonna want another storage barn over here for this area. In fact, mm, that creates like a choke point, and that cuts into the forest area, but. You know what, this is probably perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't want to have it too far, but whatever. All these people are being born. Is that what happens? You build them affordable housing and they start effing each other? <laughs> Welcome back, Taco. Taco, bring us a burrito. The fun part about this game is it's sort of long-term maintenance, um, the way I'm doing it, because as you can see, nothing really untoward my, my village is happening at this point. Um, they're just working, you know, they're finally getting enough food um, to have a store of it. Hey, Legion! Yeah, I got this at release uh, a year ago, and I love the game. I haven't played it since August of 2014. Uh, Legion, we're actually doing a quick little YouTube series uh, right now. We're actually recording this live for YouTube of uh, how to create a sustainable village um, using renewable resources, including the Forester's Lodge, the Hunting Cabins, and the gatherers huts and I use these in these little areas to create pockets of intense renewable resources to keep the game moving forward it's really nice Legion if you have questions ask me man I, I'd love to answer questions um, we've got a couple of laborers let's bump up the foresters lodge so now there's three here and three here it'll help fill this out a little more very quickly but look at this, you guys. This was There was nothing here. Remember, there was nothing here 10 minutes ago, and now it's starting to fill in very quickly. Hey, Urza, how you doing, man? Urza, we're doing a quick tutorial on Banished. Um, as far as I remember, you guys, this was a, a single... It was a one-man development team for this game. He did all of the art. He did all of the coding. He did all of the music. As far as I remember... Uh, if somebody wants to do the, 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 the Google Foo and confirm or deny that, that'd be awesome. But um, when this game was released, uh, and I think this game is still in its beta, I think. I'm not even sure if it's uh, a full, a full, full, full uh, game at this point. I think he's always making modifications to it. But this is, uh, yeah, it's Banished. Yeah, Urza, the game Banished is basically the principle is uh, you are a group of people who have been banished from another society and now you're going out into the world to create your own village, your town. You're setting off outside of another society. I mean, it's basically colonization, right? I mean, that's basically what it is. But 
Uh, the game is called Banished. We have the fishing dock as well to add some extra variety of food um, between the gatherer's hut with the roots, onions, mushrooms, and berries. See, look at that. That's almost 2,000 food a season. Uh, and then over here, uh, we've got almost 1,000 food a season. And over here, look at that. Almost 3,000? Almost 3,000 food? And this one, uh, 520. So this one wasn't doing that well last season. Banished! Serving Simulator 2014. <laughs> kind of Urza. It is kind of very SimCity mixed with Command & Conquer. Uh, there is um, uh, natural disasters in this game. There is sickness. There is, uh, uh, you know, like fires and uh, stuff like that. I have a lot of that stuff turned off just for the sort of casual showing of how to make sustainable a sustainable village. Um, and the, the thing is, you guys, I have done almost a full map of just these little pockets. And my town has just been enormous. Now, the thing, you can add in orchards. You can add in crops. You can add in pastures. Yes. But they also take up space. Um, and this doesn't, and this takes up space as well. It's, it's, space re, it's space resources versus resources, resources. And resources, 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 resources. Resources. You guys are very resourceful. I appreciate it. <clears throat> we have a lot of laborers. Look at this fill in, you guys. This will be dense forest in no time. That's the main push of this video. Um, this one's going to end when this sort of fills in forest-wise. Uh, the radius for this one overlaps with this one. But that's okay. It'll just be really dense forest in those areas. It's not that bad. Um, I probably could have had this one down a little bit more, but I, I threw it there and it's fine. It's no big deal. And these overlap a little bit. That's probably why that hunting cabin was down. And then the gatherer's huts, they overlap very briefly right here. But that is not a big deal. Because it's a mountain range and they're not really overlapping. That must be why the gatherer's huts are doing so well. My next area I'm probably going to expand to... Um, probably be this way. I'll probably expand this way. See, at this point, now I need to start expanding towards resources on the ground uh, so that my people will uh, gather those resources. Um, in fact, hmm, hmm, I might build a bridge across and gather this stuff. Or maybe I'll build this way and then build the bridge across here. I don't need to build a bridge, though. I don't need to. Let's explore a little bit while it's doing its thing. Uh, you can see the water running uh, north to south. or uh, Yeah, yeah, north to south here. And this river is where all your trading boats will come down. Uh, once a season, I think it is, or something like that. And uh, the great thing is, is the more trading posts you have, the more boats will come. But if you don't have things to trade, there's no real reason to build a trading post. Um, again, I'm building this town for sustainability. I'm not building this town to trade. I'm not building this town to create uh, farms or anything like that. I'm literally building for sustainability. At this point, I also want to know, um, do I have enough for, like, pastures? Because... If you can get um, both cattle and sheep, you can build really nice coats. If you can get both coal and iron, you can build really nice tools. Uh, herbs are usually a pretty great tradable item, a tradable commodity. So if you are gathering your herbs, uh, you'll be able to... Well, let's have another one of those just because. And let's have two more of these just because. What else do we have? Uh, no, here. Blacksmith, one of one. Click on the right stuff. 
Alright, uh, one of one, one of one. And let's... 50 coats is fine, we're not running out. We have a bunch of laborers. We're gonna need more people, and we have we have a ton of food now. Look at that. We have five thousand four hundred food. I mean, we have food, so now we need people. And the more people we get, the more things we can have them do. So let's build a couple more homes. Homes on homes. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Uh, again, I'm Hamby, and uh, if you're watching on Twitch.tv slash Hamby Plays Games Live, please feel free to ask questions or make comments, whatever, talk to me, you guys. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, please join us live, twitch.tv slash game anytime. We'd love to have you guys. Getting a lot of exposure on that Assassin's Creed video that we posted last week um, with Kaylee Kez, where we talked about the Find Leon bug. Um, and uh, thanks to Kaylee Kez for uh, looking that up on Google while we were playing. Um, and uh, we, we, we were able to find Leon uh, even though you can't actually find him in the mission. Um, it's been our most successful video yet. Thank you so much, Bugged Video Games. Good lord. And look at that, you guys. From no forest to almost full forest in no time. And there's the logs, and you have mushrooms, and you have berries, and you have onions, and they're collecting stuff. Get after it. There's been a lot of new uh, mods were built for this game. Um... We were talking about it in part one of this series. The Iron Curtain mod has hemp farms, which is kind of awesome. Um, uh, they have uh, stone regenerates. They have a lot of cool mods for this game now. I guess people wanted to make it easier for themselves. I can understand that. Um, now that we have a really decent sustainability from here, this is where I will normally want to branch out and start building farms and stuff of that nature. Now, uh, what kind of farms can we build? Uh, we can build a crop field, we can build an orchard, and we can build pastures. Uh, the only thing is, is I don't know what uh, resources I have as far as seeds, um, as well as uh, animals. I don't have animals. Um, you get animals if you start on easy, I believe. I want to break that down, actually. Yeah, we're going to break that down. <clears throat> remove structures. We're going to remove this stockpile. Now the gatherers will take everything, the laborers will take everything from here and put it somewhere else like here. And then the builders will come back and break this down. And it'll just be an open space where the forest will then repopulate. Or we can build a house. We could possibly put a trading post here later. I'm not sure. We could definitely put another fishing dock here. Um, that might be something we want to do. This would be a perfect spot for a fishing dock because you get water on all sides. It's kind of nice. Uh, as you can see, the fishing dock has a radius. Uh, there's the line. It has a radius here. Uh, and you want as much water in that radius as possible. If you put a fishing dock here, you get that radius that hits all the water. Okay. Um, I don't know what we're going to do in part four, you guys. I think we're going to move... Um, Still not sure where I want to expand to. I like being near the water. I like being near the water because I'm a water sign. I'm a Pisces Aquarius. I'm on the cusp. And it matters to me. It just does. Um, bunch of small towns, Hero. That's usually the, the main goal for me. Um, I like to keep them interconnected uh, so that the people don't have to go too far to get too many places. Wow, let's pause the game, actually. Storage for produced goods is near capacity. See, I am uh, completely... Now I'm just, I'm rocketing through. Look at this. Now we're going to need a third storage barn. Well, that's what I mean by expansion is I create new pockets and they're usually interconnected. Um, so example, I want to stay outside of that. So my next area would probably be here. Um, again, this here, it overlaps. So I want to build into this area most likely or further out. And the reason being is, is I don't want to cut too much into my forest lodge areas. Um, but it's not that big a deal since I have multiple forest lodges and multiple um, amounts of stored logs. So <clears throat> I like to try to uh, keep my cities away from my pockets of forest uh, so that my pockets of forest can continually build. Let's bump that up to a thousand. 
uh, so that my pockets will never sort of be encroached upon. Um, and it's and again, it's a it's a matter of keeping an eye on sustainability. Um, I'd like to build some crops. I'd like to build some pastures. I'd like to build some orchards uh, and show you guys what that looks like. Um, and we will. We can put a town hall down here. Uh, let's do that in the next video. Now that now that this forest is built in, let's cut this video here. So thank you so much for watching. In part four, we're going to introduce a town hall so I can figure out what kind of uh, livestock I have as well as what kind of seeds I've got for planting. So in part four, we're going to do livestock, a town hall, and... Uh, Pluto Killer, thank you so much for the hosting, our Junction teammate. Uh, that is very much appreciated. Pluto Killer! Um, so, we're going to cut this video short right here. Uh, thank you so much for watching, YouTubers. And, and again, in part four, we will continue the growth of Oswinville, our Doctor Who named um, town here in Banished. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and we'll be back.